Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book review for Sundial by Catriona Ward, which was just released at the beginning of this month on March 1st. I received a copy for review through the publisher Tor Nightfire and NetGalley. So thank you to them for making this review possible. And Sundial was a really interesting book. I actually quite enjoyed it. This one follows Rob, who is a house mother of two children and married to Irving. And the beginning of the book has to do a lot with their uh, relationship. Uh, you can tell right away that something's off, that they don't really get along. Something is wrong with this relationship. And then you get to know the daughters. There's Callie, the oldest, and a Annie, the youngest. And there's something going on there too. Annie is Rob's favorite daughter. And she has a very strained relationship with Callie, the oldest daughter. Uh, because Callie has started showing some worrying signs like collecting animal bones and talking to herself, that sort of thing. And then Rob decides to take Callie for a trip to Sundial, which is where she grew up because she's afraid that Callie is starting to show things that have to do with her past at Sundial. And there were a lot of great elements involved in this story that I really like to read about, like having a creepy kid involved is always fun. And this book seemed mostly like a psychological thriller. It was definitely psychological. There but there were like there was a small supernatural element and um, definitely really great at building a sense of dread which is definitely a horror thing um, just this sense of foreboding like something is going to happen soon yeah I will say that the second half of this book flew by for me once I was hooked, but it took quite a while for me to get into this one. With the beginning, um, it was a little weird, like what, why, why is Callie acting so weird? Um, doing, why is she collecting bones and talking to herself, that sort of thing? Uh, mysterious. But it was a lot of setup and a lot of dealing with the bad relationship between Rob and Irving and you know it wasn't the the funnest fastest thing to read about although it is important setup for the whole story and it all comes together in the end perfectly it makes a lot of sense in a weird weird way but yeah, the second half of this book flew by. I really loved it. And it goes to some pretty dark places. Uh, if you do not like reading about harm, abuse of animals, this one might not be for you. As well as harm and abuse of humans is involved as well just so you can be forewarned it's not the fastest read especially in the beginning but it is a really interesting and unique story that I really thought worked for me in the end after putting in a little bit of work to get there and I ended up giving Sundial four stars. 
and it is available now so you can pick this one up if you want to let me know down below if you've already read this book before me and what did you think of it very curious to know still really looking forward to reading catriona ward's other book last house on needless street so i look forward to hearing from you in the comments and i will be back very soon with another book related video thanks bye